I'm hearing that Gareth Southgate is set to be offered a new contract extension. I'm just baffled with the timing of it. Why, why announce it now? Like, what, what are you trying to achieve? What is, what, what's the benefits of announcing it now? Let the guy concentrate and everyone focus. What if they go out to Germany tomorrow? Harry Kane needs to come to the party. He has to. If, he, if we can't play with him playing the way he's played so far in this tournament, I am desperate for Sancho to come to Man United. Yeah. We need yeah. him. If Man City get Grealish, it don't matter who we get. Luke Shaw, he's still getting nibbles, you know what I mean, towards Jose Mourinho. Them two seem to have a little back and forth. I love Mourinho, yeah? Leave the kid alone, man. There'll be people in the written media who I go, oh, I would know had a vendetta against me and were personal with me. I'd face them and I'd see them on planes or in airports or whatever around when we're going to games and I'd put it on some of them. <laughs> Yes, guys, welcome back. It's Vibe with Five. Big shout out to the guys alongside me today, Mr. Stephen Housen and Mr. Rio Ferdinand. How are you doing today, guys? All good, all good. I'm here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm breathing. I'm happy. I'm happy. Good stuff. And yourself, Steve? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Nice, yeah. chilled out weekend. Enjoyed the footy last night. You enjoyed the footy, yeah? I did enjoy the footy, yeah. I thought it was a yeah. good game last night. No. Ma the main game, should we say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Belgium. Um, you know what I mean? Gone through, beat Portugal. No surprise. We're going to get into that soon. Massive shout out to Sokin, who are sponsoring the show. Brilliant stuff. Enjoy having you guys on board. Let's keep it going, man. Hopefully you can stay with us at least until the end of the Euros. So, kid, yes, no, let us know. <laughs> They're with us. But let's start off with one of the main talking points. Big announcement. I'm hearing that Gareth Southgate is set to be offered a new contract extension to Euro to 2024. Housen, what's your thoughts on that? Why, Why? now? Why? Why anyway? <laughs> what? You don't reckon he's the what? guy to take us forward? Stop talking wet, Joel. You tell me what he's done. Oh, he made no, it a no. nice feel-good factor. Sound. This is this is why Robbie that's Savage. Why you get, get, this is why, why you get the Savage highest paid job in football. Week, yeah? This is why Robbie Savage was getting onto you last week because <laughs> it's all about the improvement, and he has no doubt improved. The England squad has he not since he's no. taken over? No, he happened to be the England manager. What's he done to Phil Foden's career? Probably, probably made it worse actually with the way he treated him and Mason Greenwood over them getting a bird bat to the hotel. If anything, right, you tell know. me when it's come to the crunch and he's had to do serious managerial decisions where you've gone Southgate impressed me there not once. But he hasn't had to do that a lot. Though. The bravest thing he did was wear a bleeding waistcoat at a World Cup. That's it. He's done but he nothing have to of do note. That a lot, though, Steve. Like he gets us through qualifications with no problem. Okay, most managers do, but don't forget some managers don't. Right? One manager. Had, yeah. No. Yeah. Either way. But and then on top of that, you've got um, England. If you're looking at the team, look, man, it, we could go far. You know, like we've got Germany tomorrow. We beat Germany. Look at the route after that. There's potential out here. I'm like Rio, bruv. It can still come home. You know what I mean? It's still but coming you know, yard, It bro. would come home if you actually had a competent manager. Yeah, but you, he hasn't failed yet, Steve. Yes, so he, look, he already failed. He failed at the World Cup. Yeah. I think we've got to wait. I just think, I just think, I just, I'm just baffled with the timing of it. Why, why announce it now? Like, what, what are you trying to achieve? What is, what, what's the benefits of announcing it now? Let the guy concentrate and everyone focus on the England team doing well and getting their, their journey sorted through to the final. That's what we're meant to be concentrating on. We shouldn't even be having this conversation. Why are we talking about a new contract for a man that, what if they go out to Germany tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's Who's, what, what, who what, are what, you what? trying to protect him from being snabbed by? Yeah, I don't understand it. Like, If they go out tomorrow to, to Germany, what happens there? Yeah, boy, I don't know, man. That's the same it's question I'm asking. One. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I heard the new Olay song by Crepton Conan. I'm thinking, boy, that, that thing better... They better win the game tomorrow because otherwise it's, 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 it's irrelevant. Um, <laughs> next tune. Uh, next tune. Next topic. Um, no, who do you reckon he's going to start with tomorrow before we move on? Who is he starting with tomorrow? Your opinion. I think I wouldn't be surprised if he matched them up. 
yeah. and played five a three at the back. Yeah, that's the only I problem I see with that is if he plays three at the back, I think we get penned back to being a five at the back. And sometimes, what if, for instance, what if the striker plays as a false nine and all of a sudden we've got three centre-backs marking almost no one, mainly one player. Mm. It's a waste of a player. That's my only concern. Um, but in terms of forward areas, if he plays three up front, uh, Sterling 100% starts. Um, I'm, I, I saw tight, Waz's it? team and yeah. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if someone like Rashford played as well because the pace. Yeah, but Kane, Kane's definitely starting, right? He ain't going any, anywhere, is he? No, Kane ain't going nowhere. You have to look mm. at it. People said, oh, it's like Shearer back in the day. I hadn't scored for 12 games before he went to the Euros. Still stuck with him. And then, by the way, the backup strikers then were like people like Robbie Fowler, Les Ferdinand, Andy Cole, Ian Wright. Ian Wright. Teddy Sheridan. Like, they had big strikers behind him, so they, the pressure was on. Like, you could see relevant people that come in and, and should have, have a, a say to take his spot. But they mm. stuck with him, and he came good. And I, I think Gareth Southgate's hoping the same for Harry Kane. And I think the depth behind him isn't enough to suggest. I saw you on stoppage time talking about this. I just don't think there's enough behind him. As good as Dominic Calvert-Lewin is, he hasn't got the experience yet to be thrust mm -hmm. in, in there. Yeah, it's true. Uh, wait, can we, Will, can you put up on the screen Wayne Rooney's team? Because, Rio, I can't lie, that team, yeah, too defensive for me, man. My word. You know, that, that, I that team, yeah, Joel, that team says to me, Backs against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Backs against the wall and just hope that we get a counter-attack at some point. That's a derby team right there, man. Do you I know expected what I mean? more from Waza. That's relegation survival teams out there, man. What is going on? I saw this and I thought, for someone who was an attacking player, I just, oh, come on, Phillips, Rice and Henderson. Survival oh, in that team. Gosh. Did you tell him what you thought of it? I ain't spoke to him yet, but I'll send him the clip of this. Please, please. I'm with him. <sighs> Nearly with him. And I changed Sterling for Sancho. Based on what? What do you mean based on what? Based on the fact he's a better player. Steve. He's only two goals at the tournament Sterling's got and you're going to drop him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you for real? Sancho's played 30 seconds. I think if he'd I'm played three I'm not saying three, anything three about matches. Sancho, yeah? Forget talking about Sancho. I'm just saying Sterling is our only registered goal scorer in the tournament and you don't want him in the team. You're something else. Why? Is is, is it, is just it, because yeah. just because someone did that doesn't mean that actually if someone else had been playing, there might have been entirely different results. And we might have won yeah, but we those games go by... With what we know Kane might teams. have had a goal if you have had a strike, uh, a winger that was actually crossing buts it for him. and maybes. Yeah. Exactly. You can't go for buts and maybes. Right now, Sterling is 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 performing. And even my... Only son, is the first name on the sheet. Sterling is, is the first yeah, name is. on the yeah. England team This is why we're right going now. home. This time tomorrow, by the time this comes <laughs> out, you, you, are you lot will be sitting here going, oh, we're going to win now. I can't wait like, till tomorrow. We're going to beat the Germans by two clear goals. Boom. Well, I hope not, because I've got a right bet on Germany winning in 90 minutes tomorrow. Wow. Uh, I'm, no, right, I'm 50-50. No Do the new black Germany kit? Mm -hmm. I'm digging it, mate. I might even wear that tomorrow for the game. Oh, yeah. nah, who, 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 who do you reckon? Who do you reckon? Which team is sitting in there? more apprehensive than the other. Hmm. I reckon it there's more to fear be. in our team than there is in theirs. You know what? I I, I want to agree with you, but I've got to say it's got to be England, man. I think we're more scared because, first of all, we've seen, even though Germany lost their opening game, they've been convincing in the other two games. And on top of that, I think the boys are aware of what the nation's saying. Yes, it's good vibes. Things are going well. But I believe that when you stack up against those Germans and our history... England have a lot more to fear. If I'm in the change room now, based on what I've been seeing the last in this tournament, there's far too many cracks in the German team in defense from defensive perspective that suits our best and most productive and attacking players. But their weaknesses, their weaknesses play into our positives and our strengths so much. It's unbelievable. You can say right. the same the other way, but I think it's just it's weighed in our in our in our favour a bit more in that sense. Real, just got a quick question. Did we draw nil nil with Scotland? Yeah. Oh, okay. But we do. We, we're we're better against the better teams. <laughs> Rio, Rio, you need to stop, man. Because even when you run through all of their team, <laughs> they've got players that 
you know what I mean? Yes, Hummels is not the same Hummels. Rudiger, he's probably at his best right now. You've got Gundogan, you've got Cruz, you can still play. You've got Kai Havertz, who's doing a madness. You've got Werner. you got even, like, their subs. You've got Goretzka come, who can come in and make a difference. Um, Kimmich, Muller. Nah, I, look, I want us to go through. But their this boy, is why, this is why I would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. This is why I wouldn't sit back, backs against the walls. I would say, get our most creative players on that pitch mm -hmm. and say, let's have it. Let's have right. it. We will Cruz, outscore you. Gundogan, Kimmich. The reason that you're going to go back to the wall is you're not going to see the ball with them free in midfield. <laughs> you're yeah. not. Not if, and against, Muller and not, if against against Mount, not if you played against Mount, Foden and Rice or Phillips or someone like that or, or Henderson. I'm telling you. You don't believe yourself, man. You don't believe yourself. Listen, don't get me wrong. I want us. To, I want us to go, do go well. Go watch but... that Scotland game back and then. Foden and Mount popping the ball off of some a Grealish in the ten. Come on, bruv. Right. <laughs> that. <Yeah. laughs> Put it this what, way. You've got more chance of playing than Grealish does. <laughs> I don't think Grealish is going to play. I think Gareth is going to go safer. Grealish is a maverick. He don't play Grealish in these games for me. This is the problem. If he'd have gone full Kevin Keegan mode and let's just have it, I'd be confident because I think, yeah, we, we might actually play on the front foot. You might actually go for them. Or if you'd have gone the full Mourinho way, some turbo shithouse tactics of how you're going to nick a win here and there, I'd have been like, yeah, sound. But Southgate does neither. He hasn't got the bottle to make a decision to go full defensive or full attacking. So you sit in this middle ground, absolutely wasting the talent that we've got in the team because you haven't got the bollocks to go for it. So we're going to go out without even putting up a fight because he's not got the stones to play a team that can actually go and do a job. That's the problem. Harry, for us to do well, Harry, King, Harry Kane needs to come to the party. Yeah. He has to. If, he, if we can't play with him playing the way he's played so far in this tournament, we mm -hmm. need, for us to win this game, he needs to be on, on flames. The, the Harry Kane we've seen in the Premier League all this season. Not the one we've yeah. seen in the tournament so far. Agreed. Agreed. Now, moving on, because of time. Jaden Sancho. What's this 77 million uh, bid accepted by United? Is he a United player in theory? Yes or no, Steve? Did you see Gary Neville's tweet at the weekend? No, nah, I missed it. He said, I should be buzzing because United are potentially signing a really good player. So I'm paraphrasing here. I'm sure we'll get it up on the screen. It was along the lines of, should be buzzing, but I'm bored. I'm bored of this transfer, and I'm already thinking, who's next? Because United have just dragged it out for this long. And it's not fair on Jaden that we all should be sitting here buzzing, wondering how he fits into the United team. But United have dragged the arse out of this transfer for so long that by the time they actually announce him, people are going to go, and it's wrong because he's one of the top talents in Europe and we should be getting mega excited about him. But I think there's a couple of things at play here. We need more than just him. And that's a big thing. And we also are kind of like sick of this transfer. United like the engagement, don't they? They like how many tweets a, a, a transfer generates. That's the problem with us. We're not, rather than just going, hey, let's just get these players because they'll make us a better football team. They want to know how much engagement you're going to get out of them. And it's we, have, we, haven't, we haven't been decisive, have we? We ain't been decisive with it. That's a big problem. Let's he should never have gone to the Euros without this getting done. We tried yeah. to sign him last summer. We dicked about over the price. As soon as the window closed, you know, we, maybe even before Christmas, we've been like, right, listen, end of the season, we fancy taking that Sancho fella off you. How much is it going to be? Start haggling on the price then. And then by the time I, I, it comes to March... I don't, think that, I don't think Dortmund's number changes before yeah. or after the uh, tournament. This is what yeah. I don't understand. You know the figure. You know the price. You know what ballpark it is. Get it done. And like, it's, just, why, it's just long. And that's why Chelsea and Man City have technically, in theory, been better than you in the transfer market over the last few years because they're identifying their guys. And before you even know it, they've got them. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, Can I just say one thing? Go on. I am desperate for Sancho to come to Man United. Yeah. We need yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. The best young talent around in Europe, mm. Man United used to sweep them up. This is mm. getting back to the old days in that sense. Yeah. Get it done. But I agree with Steve. There's more that's needed. Yeah. We need a centre back. That's that's the first position that I'll be trying to try to Speaking of that, have you sent centre back? Please get us around the text yet. Centre back who's ex a bit of experience as well. And I'll be happy. But I have to say one thing to add to this. If. Man City get Grealish. 
it don't matter who we get. You it's reckon? Over. You reckon? Yeah. It's very Greenish unlikely. Is the man. It's very unlikely that they'll sign Kane and Grealish in the same season, though. You know, don't, don't say that because I think they might. I think they yeah. might. They're going to try. If so, they get that, them two, it's over for Europe. Not don't just the Premier have, League. Don't they have to like ship some players off before they can get that because of financial fair play. They'll what? do it. They'll they do beat it. financial fair play last year. It's not a thing anymore. Yeah, they beat they'll, it. They'll do it. They'll, nah, they, whatever but... has to be done, they will do it. If they get them two, for Europe, it's over. But if they get Grealish alone, the Premier League is done. And Real, I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. It's just, it's just, what? Did you send Varane a text? No, no, no. No, I didn't. Right. Let's, let's slide in them DMs. Oh, yeah, listen, yeah. Uh, listen Varane, Varane is just doing things, massaging the papers, the media papers and the headlines to get a bigger deal at Real Madrid. Right. Yeah. Let me write the text if for Real, you now, if, then. If, if Varane doesn't sign a new deal at Real Madrid, I'll be surprised. Send him the following, right? Just a nice little cheeky one. Nothing. Just put, you having it or what? All right. Just, I will. Send, just send that. You having it or what? I will. That's, that's bad. So you reckon <laughs> you reckon you don't reckon he's going to end up at United Rio, Steve? What do you reckon? Because I see you guys covering it on your channel. I think United's interest is real, but there's got to be more than United's interest in real. He has to want it. Now we heard, didn't he, that Rio was his idol, which is why I'm trying to get him to send him a text, mm. um, see if that can help in any way. But my instinct is he's either going to Paris to join the absolute madness that they're trying to do there, which is where I think Ronaldo's probably going as well, mm. or he's getting a new deal, Real Madrid. Because you don't let Varane and Ramos walk out in one summer. That's carnage. Real so, Madrid are not letting Ramos and Varane go in the same window. 100%. Yeah. He's not going nowhere. Man's going to get a new deal. So it's 10% chance of him, at best, of him coming to United. But let's bang him a text that anyway and find out. Because That's mad, you know. Man United. Because he, used. alongside Maguire, is unbelievably good. Man United just being used as a new contract thing. You know, but there was a day where... Players it's happened in the past, though. Midnight. It's happened in the past, though, Joe. It ain't new. People like, like Cruz really and Schweinsteiger for? have done it. Uh, when, yeah, fair enough. But that's Real Madrid, though, isn't it? Like, that's to no, go and to and Real Madrid. Bayern as well. They've all done it. You know, boy. I don't know, man. Doesn't strike me for the same Man United. Anyway, is it a mistake selling Romelu Lukaku? Or was it a mistake Man United selling Romelu Lukaku? Yes or no? Yes. 100% mistake. The, I was I was someone as well. I've got to be honest at the time. Does his style fit us? Is he is he a good enough all round player for Man United? This guy, his goal scoring record stacks up against anyone in the last ten years. Anyone, anybody. He he scores goals. He guarantees you goals. Don't care what else he is. And I think Oli did, got rid of him because of his style and maybe isn't as free-flowing when you're playing, when he's in the team. You can't really bounce stuff off him as easy as you can with some other players, maybe. Maybe. But sometimes, if you want goals, Man United ain't, uh, have gone to somebody who was on a free transfer, a veteran in Cavani, who I love, by the way, when you had a guy coming into his prime, who everyone on the planet right now would probably take in their team. Don't make sense. You know, and but Steve, you're shaking your head there. You saw what he said the other day in his press conference when he said that players mention Harry Kane and, you know, all the top players. But when it's him, it's like there's a different level. He believes he is at that elite He is level. in that conversation. And yeah. why should he not be? Those comments were going through my head last night as I was watching him fail to beat anyone 1v1 um, in the last 10 minutes of the game. But I don't I don't think it was a mistake for the simple fact of that he very made it very, very clear he didn't want to stay at United. He didn't want to be part of Ollie's mobile pressing sort of forward line. And if that's the case, then you can't keep him around. That's Certainly not the reason, though, because it's a mobile pressing front line. Because I've got to be honest with you, it's not a mobile pressing front line. Well, I think that's what he's trying to get to, though. And but that's what he was not... trying to get Lukaku to do. And Lukaku was just refusing to do it. Ollie's forward line, if the, the, the worst part of the forward line is pressing. They don't Probably press. Right, yeah. But that's what I think he's trying to get us to. Well, he's wasted a year trying to do that without Lukaku because Lukaku, Lukaku pressed as maybe well as any season, of the boys there now. Maybe this season's not the best. No, not more than Cavani. Anyway. Not more than yeah. Cavani. And I he think doesn't press more than Cavani. You're right in terms of his link-up play is not good enough. He, people look at him and think, oh, he's a hold-up man because he's massive. He's but not. he's more like Chicharito than any other yeah, sort yeah, of style. Yeah. Isn't he? He's, he's a proper he gets to the end of things. Yeah, he's a proper fox in the box. But people look at the physique of the guy. Now, certainly when he was at United, he was probably a couple of stone heavier as well. 
I don't think that helped. And he had a bit of a go at United's nutrition team, didn't he? And said, like, he's come to Italy, changed his diet, lost a load of timber. Yeah. I mean, he looks lean at the moment. He looks. But you, in- you, you talk about, oh, he, he can't beat no one one with one. What about his goal? He, he, the goals he set up for, for De Bruyne the other day was part of it. I think it was the, the pass before the assist or whatever. I think international football, you get more time and space than you do in the Premier League and certainly than, than United get in the Premier League. And I think I without a right winger, he wouldn't have looked any better. I mean, how many centre forwards have we had look shit for United in the last five years? With no right winger, everyone stacked up, dead narrow, defences t- deny space. He needs the space to run into, and he's not getting that at United. I, I don't the think it was a mistake. Part of his game. The best part I, is definitely space. I've said some irresponsible shit about Lukaku when we were signing him. I was mega excited. I, I love the guy. I think he's a, a great forward, but he doesn't suit or doesn't want to suit this United team at the moment. So, I, I how many goals did he score in his last in his seasons at Man United? He got he got good numbers. He got good numbers. Good numbers. I think he broke thirty, but he got good numbers. Just like like twenty seven, something like that. Twenty six in a bang average team. Yep. Imagine imagine him in this team now. The chances they create, Bruno behind him. Jesus. <laughs> but do you think? But do you think? But that's the thing, though. You, it wasn't exactly bang average also because they still had Pogba and stuff like that I know there was Latan at the time who where did they finish Washiva. where did they finish one season yeah, you finished I can't remember so in the league he did for us he did 12 in 32 and 16 in 34 he's gone to Serie A and done 24 in 36 and 23 in 36 uh, overall he did 27 in 51 at United and 15 in 45 he's, he's basically doubled that 30 in 44 uh, enter, and then 34 in 51 his goal scoring record can't be sniffed at. I don't care. Mm. Does he make does he make Man United a better team now? Yes. Of course he does. The the lighter version of him? Yeah, I think he does, yeah. I think does he was probably too heavy. Park who make Man United a better team now. Yes. Would you have him over Marshall? Yes. Yeah. What kind of a question is that? Not um, even some, a question. Some, some you, people would not, not, not me. Are you not still are you not still waiting for him to come to life? Hey. I'm asking because a question, I you, Joel. I could have told you that two, three years ago that that's not going to happen. Even though he scored, even though he scored, you know, loads of goals a season before, you can't compare a Martial to a Lukaku. That's a, that's a disrespect. I wasn't doing. I was asking a question because there'll be some <laughs> no, people in the comments that would be like, that, "No, I like the same conversation for me is is mind blowing." But yeah, and also, you know what? All this talk about his touch, you know, you know, we're giving him a talk about his touch. Did you see the tweet that he put out? when he said, I wouldn't be playing at this level if I had a bad touch. The thing is, though, his his close control is not Lionel Messi, is it? Let's have it right. He does have the ball cannon off him a few times, but that's when he plays with his back to goal. If he doesn't play with his back to goal... I agree. I agree with Steve. And I think Lukaku, deep down, he knows his touch ain't the greatest, like in in, in build-up play. But you wrap a ball into him, in and around the penalty box, his touch is as good as anyone. He's first touching the shit out of it into the bottom corner is what he's doing. But I told you, if you watched the Belgium game, I forget who they played where he got a goal disallowed, where he touched it in one motion on the turn in the, in the penalty box. It was bad, in it? I saw it. That's it. The one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dragged uh, it And the ball was slapped into him, I think, by, I don't think it might have been Ke- Kevin De Bruyne. His touch in and around the box with b- multiple defenders around him cannot be questioned. It's just when he maybe relaxes a little bit, the further he is away from goal, and his touch probably get, is a bit looser. Now, Ria, I disagree with you because that scenario that he had there was similar to where he was going wrong at United, you know. To be really honest with you, you can say in the box, out of the the box, everyone was complaining about the touch. Maybe he's just improved, Mm. you know, because he weren't doing that at United. And I know what goal you're talking about as well. Mm. So, yeah, boy, remains to be seen. But there's no doubt he is obviously a world-class player. Um, Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, he's still getting nibbles you know i mean towards jose Mourinho. them two seem to have a little back and forth what do you know what going on do you know what i don't get it man jose Mourinho. look at what he is look at this is big jose Mourinho we're talking about the guy the main man big jose i love i love Mourinho. yeah mm. he's a manager that i would love to have played for but like Leave the kid alone, man. You messed up his career. Well he, well, he would argue that Luke Shaw messed up his career. He has to take some responsibility, Luke Shaw, yeah, for this period as well, yeah, where he didn't do well under Mourinho. Luke has to take responsibility as well. But I think as well as a manager, you have to take a little bit of responsibility too in, in getting the best out of players. That's part of your job. That's your remit, to get the best out of the players at your disposal. 
and he didn't with Luke Shaw. But I think they both have to say, well, what percentage of that it, uh, only they will know, yeah? But mm. leave the kid alone now, man. You're talking about him taking corners. Please, man, there's more to talk about than Luke Shaw taking corners. It feels a bit personal to me. And I think uh, it just goes back to me more about my my me as a pundit now. And I look at things. And, and you, the, the, one of the main things I said when I started this is that I, in any kind of appraisal or breaking down of a situation or a player or a club, it can't be personal. Because that's when I would take it really bad as a player and personally, and I would take it as a, as a direct insult when it becomes personal. And I've tried to be true to that. And I just think, Jose, I think you can tell with when he's talking, there's a bit of bitterness about it, the situation that went on before. And Luke doing well doesn't reflect great on Jose Mourinho. That's the problem. And I think that's where the bitterness probably stems from. Did you have any issues with pundits that you didn't like or people that you just thought, you know what, yeah, when I see him, I'm going to stick no, it on him. I was more with the written media. There'll be rip, there'll be people in the written media who I go, oh, I would know had a, a vendetta against me and were personal mm. with me. Mm. And I'd, I'd hold, I'd, I'd, I'd face them and I'd see them on planes or in airports or whatever around when we're going to games and I'd put it on some of them. Mm. And then like... <laughs> But with the old pundits and that, I never really, I didn't really get, I didn't feel anything personal with any of them. So I never had no problems. Give me an example, please, of someone that you've had to tell off on why. Um, Oliver Holt, who I have a decent relationship with now. I speak to now, not a problem. But at the time, with my um, missed drugs test, it was all went to court, proven that I hadn't taken anything beyond any doubt. That's what the judge said based on the evidence and based on all of the testings that I've done, hair follicle tests, et cetera. We'll have to do an episode on this. Yeah, we'll um, But this guy just kept on going, man, and kept on talking about it, kept on bringing it up and, and kept on trying to almost make out that well, I was... Insinuate and stuff. Yeah, insinuating like there was more to it. And I was like, no, nah, man, when I, when I see this guy, I had to just call him out. In, in front, well, you have to go through the media pack when you finish game sometimes. And mm. he was there. And I just had to tell him what I thought. What did he say? There weren't much to say. He couldn't say nothing, really. <laughs> did the, did the, the writing change after that, or was it... Yeah, it did. The, the narrative changed a bit after that. But I think yeah. it's when you have to see people, I think that's where Gareth Southgate's got it right. These journalists, he brought them into the into the house. It's good, because then people now have to see the players. Mm -hmm. And yet it's a different story when a, a, a journalist is sitting there writing a story about a player, when he's got to wake up the next morning and see him when he goes breakfast. Mm. or see him when he has something to eat or has a coffee and he knows the player's going to be around because if that was me, I'd pull up that guy straight away. I'd sit on mm. his table and sit on him. Agreed, agreed. Uh, rattling through now. Um, obviously, we don't have to go through all these topics, but Holland are out of Euro 2020, 2021 against Czech Republic. This is why we need England to beat Germany because we could be playing the Czechs again at some point. Uh, Italy you know, managed to wrap it up 2-1 against Austria. Goals in extra time. Denmark thrashing Wales 4-0. Hey, what do you reckon? Do you reckon Denmark could do the thing? I know there's the, the Ericsson tied to it. What do you reckon? Did you see that pos the possession? Nah. Mate, 94% possession first half. Madness. How is no. that? If, I, don't, I don't even know how you do that. I've never seen anything like that, in set, but I just feel the emotion... Is taking them on. They're on a ride, man. These guys are on a ride. The country's with them. They feel empowered now. You can see, you can feel it. You can see it. I just and they were they're on the right side of the draw. If they get to the final and they got to beat England on the way, I would not be surprised because it's just that you can't. Sometimes that energy is just so powerful. It's mm. it's an unbelievable thing. But I'd still back England to beat them if we get to or or, or Germany if we got against them at, at some point. I just. I think it's a beautiful thing that they've got to where they are now and I see them getting past the quarterfinals and I think they'll get to the semis, but then I think that's when they'll they'll meet their their match. 100% agree. Who do, you, who do you see winning it then? Has it, and has it changed since the start? France. I still think France will win it, but I'm uh, sorry. No, no, no. I think France will win it, but I'm not as confident as I was at the beginning. Really? I think the clean sheets that Italy are keeping are... No, Italy, Italy, no, 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 no. Italy have only got one form of attack, and that's, that's through Spanazola. You, you, you lock that side down, and you're sweet. They, they also didn't attack in numbers. I was noticing that. They was attacking in threes and fours, not fives and sixes. Yeah, no, no. They, they ain't got enough. They, they, I don't think they're dynamic enough all over the park. 
I think they'll get a, a physical team, a team that can overpower and physically pace wise would we'll, we'll go through them. So Fra France play Switzerland tonight. Uh, as this is uploaded, probably um, Spain will be playing Croatia. Not expecting any upsets in either of those games, I don't think. No, not at all. No. Croatia could upset right. Spain. Croatia could upset Spain. Yeah, this Maybe. Spain team's crap, man. And I don't trust Morat up top anyway. Um, mm. Away goal rule removed from all UA for club competitions. Do we care? Yes, no. I think it takes away the, the the drama a little bit. I think I love the drama of the away goal. You're standing in a game and a goal gets scored and you're standing around going, what is, and everyone's going, what's that mean? Like, are we free? Like, it's mad. It's good, man. I, I like that, but... Yeah. Do you remember the Roma game at home? It's one of the best performances I've ever saw from United. Almost flawless. We won 7-1. Mm. Because of what had happened in the first leg, we had to keep scoring. Even like 3-4-1, and four, one, you kind of like, we are we all right now? Or do we, do we, like, do we need some more? And... I, you know, even Rashford's uh, penalty against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah. These things mean more because of the away goals rule. Otherwise, mm. you're going to end up with so many extra time and penalties now. That's it. Mm. I agree. Um, all right. Finally, Rafa becomes Everton manager. I don't want to talk about that too much. Doesn't really bother <laughs> me. Uh, Marcus Rashford, I want to wrap this up. He is having surgery or he's going to have surgery. Steve, what's going on? I've been telling him to do stem cells and look into stem cells with it, which I don't know if he's going to do or not. I think he was asking the club about whether he could do, um, but he's needed it for time that he needs to get this. Um, personally, I wouldn't have gone to the Euros, but I know wants to play for his country, wants to um, you know, represent England and all the rest of that. I, I guess he's going to be missing for the start of the season, probably for a while. And you know, if it ends up being two or three months, good because I don't want him to rush back and not be fully healed. If you're going to take a, a, a significant time off to, to get healed, go get properly, properly healed and let's have you back because, you know, on his, when he's, I mean, we haven't seen him injury free for two years and look at what he's done. I can't wait to see what an injury free Marcus looks like, especially with Sancho on the opposite wing. Whatever he needs to do to be fit hundred percent, he needs to do. If that means taking two, three, four months out, he needs to do it because I think if he doesn't, his career will be, in jeopardy in terms of the long-term future of it and the would quality you have done it, be able to sustain it for a long period of time. But would you have done it? Like I'm talking in the midst of, you know what it's like, the pre pressures of playing at Man United. Someone can take your position at any time. Do you ever get um, surgery? I don't remember you having surgery done. while you played. Yeah, I had, I had like three, three knee operations. Like cartilage, Wasn't out for long ones. with them though. Pardon? Wasn't out for long with them. I was out for like four weeks, five weeks of them. Barely remember them. Yeah, I know, but... um. Now, listen, you can't think like that. You've got to think long term. I don't think, I think there may be, I don't think I would fill up one hand with games where I felt 100%. There was always a niggle every game. Something was hurting somewhere. So that's normal for footballers. But with, from what I'm hearing about Marcus's injury, I think it's a bit more than just a little niggle. I think he's just something that if he doesn't get it right, it would be a problem for future. So he has to shut down and get it right. Coming back and playing in a team worrying about anyone else's position, he's got to, he'll have the confidence that he can come back and get in that team, no problem. Yeah. Well, guys, I think that's it. And yeah, hopefully we beat Germany and we'll see you guys back again for the watch along uh, and late night vibe. Thank you very much for, for watching, subscribing, liking, comments, all of that. And we'll be back soon next week. Peace. See you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know the vibes.